Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time tuning in, thanks for having a look at um, Trixie Power and Military Modelling. In today's video, we're looking again at those brown water navy vessels we've been doing over the last couple of videos before we had that extreme heat. And the first thing I do after I've done the spraying, which I did in the last video, is just remove them from the ruler and the double-sided tape, and I just put them onto an old paint tin or a bottle top, anything that you've got with a bit of blue tack just so we can get ready for that next stage of painting. So just be careful taking them off. I'll just give them a bit of a twist and get them off. I'll get this other one off. You can, you can use blue tack instead of double-sided tape. I've just used double-sided tape on that ruler, but um, have a look at the previous video on the Brown Water Navy stuff and you'll see it. Then I'll just mount them on top of a bit of blue tack on these old tins and see how that radar's already bent. GHQ stuff, you're just gonna be so careful with it. It's just really small and um, can be a bit fragile. So I get them mounted up like that uh, for the next phase. And then, and I'll just move them out of the shop for a second. And the next phase I do for painting GHQ stuff is uh, putting a panel line color on it and this is brown so i'll just quickly go around the container and you really do need to give them a good shake here you'll see on the bottom where there's some of that uh, brown still stuck to the to the bottom and the reason i'm using brown is they're small models um, and I want to highlight some of the features on them, but I want to dull them down too. I want to make this brown, this uh, green look real dull and dark. Well, a little bit duller and dark. And this is just one method. We'll do more boats. I've ordered some more, so when they arrive, we'll do it a different method if you don't like this sort of the way they look. Um, I've already painted three off camera and we'll have a look at them um, after I do these ones. So I just, have the paint there under the lid, just touch it against the side. And then all I do is just start working that color over the whole model. See, we've got tires and things like that on the side that we'll have to paint at some stage and, and then come back and do a retouch up of the color. But really for now, I'm just getting that color on there to, to make it look like it's been in service for a while, it's dirty. Looks like a lot, it looks like a lot, and I'm sure some of the professional modeling guys will probably have a heart attack when they see that. But um, this is just one method I used when doing it. So I'm getting a lot of that color in. And this will give them a little bit of a sheen, a little bit of a shine on them, but we'll, we'll dull them down again. Yeah, it's probably not the uh, correct method for what this stuff is designed to be used for, but I find it's effective with small GHQ stuff. So, And brown water, navy, um, if you find colored photos of them, they are really, really dirty. So, And that's not the, not the crew's fault. And it's just working in brown water. And there's a few things you have to paint there, like anchors and stuff, and we'll do all that in another video. So I'll just give them that look like that. Nice, you know, in-service weathered look. And I'll quickly just grab this bigger boat and we'll just sort of compare the two although that's not a an outstanding comparison but this will dry a bit and i'll have a look at the other ones in a second so i'll just move that off to the side and i grab the next boat and i'll just start doing the same thing and 
just getting that brown in amongst it. And with larger areas, say like this canvas, if I run some across the top, I try and brush this way to try and give it a bit of a line. And once again, there's a lot on there, so we'll brush some of that off. And really going for that, you know, constantly being worked along the river systems, along the delta system. Like I said before, I did three off camera. So what we'll do is have a look at them because they've dried now. Try not to leave bubbles on it. I had a weird feeling these rants might be on back to front, but I did it the way it showed in the instructions, but hmm. Yeah, anyway, I'll have to have a look at that one. Like I said, I, I don't mind um, I don't mind being corrected. I'm not, you know, trying to get things wrong, but if I do, I'm happy to be corrected on stuff. So that looks good. That's going to dry and that's going to give that that real sort of weathered used look. And at some stage we take out these canvas tents and actually paint properly inside them. This is just the way I'm doing it this time. Next time we'll look at doing another method with a similar result. So I'm happy with that. It's got enough of that um, ascent colour on it, that brown, that panel line brown. And now the little PBR, same thing. Remember they're small models, so you know, you're not going to use heaps of paint. It's a bit of patience with um, with, with modelling too, you know, like uh, letting stuff dry and having something to, to do while you wait for things to dry. So that's that panel line ascent across our three Brownwater Navy boats that we just did just then. And it might look a little bit funny at the moment, but I'll just grab a boat I did yesterday. So you can see how it's, try and get a bit of a focus on it. You see how it's dried and it's given it that little bit of a different look. You might notice that a little bit better on this one. That's just had the same effect painted on it. It's a little bit of sheen on it, but we'll tone that down at the end. And the other one, I had to pinch one of the bases. My apologies, this one's just on my hand. But you can see how it's just weathered it down a bit. You can see a bit of weathering in the back there, near the stern. And this canvas top cover, I actually glued it on a bit crooked, so you can notice that there. So, you know, I should have called my channel, you know, 
definitely not perfect modeling but we've got a, a few details to tidy up on these and then they'll be finished so they'll come up really good so we'll bring some of them back into the shot there so at the front there we've got a couple that are that are uh, dried from yesterday's painting and the ones at the back that will dry will take a day to dry. I normally give this panel line ascent colour a day to dry. So thanks for watching. Next video we might look at the Iraqi infantry or back of the labs and people seem to really like that love lab stuff. So thank you very much for looking at the channel, watching the video. I appreciate it so much. You know, a lot of time and a lot of money is spent on doing this stuff and I really enjoy it. That's why I want to share that knowledge. So um Thanks for everyone's feedback, comments, and yeah, just watching the video. Thank you very much.